Hey everyone, Miss Jen here. Welcome to my Patreon. Here you get exclusive content, which includes longer English lessons by me, because here I'm your private English teacher. So for today's lesson, I'm going to teach you the grammar rule past continuous. Now we don't use this grammar tense all the time, in conversation, but it is used quite a bit if you're telling a story about a past action that was going on for a while, okay? So now because you're on my Patreon, if you notice, you'll always get a PDF link. And I like to include PDF lesson plans so you can download it very easy. Or I like to uh, create a PDF for any sort of exercises for those of you that like to do homework. So definitely check out any PDF attachment that I include with any lesson because here, I am your private English teacher. So now I will share my screen. Okay, so download and open that PDF attachment. And it looks like this. So the grammar rule for today, the English lesson is past continuous. Okay, so what is the past continuous? So the structure is always with the verb to be. If we're talking about a singular noun, we say was. If we're talking about a plural, noun, we use were, plus the verb in the ing form. Okay, so that's the structure. And this is how to use this grammar tense. So we use the past continuous with a past simple action. So think about a single past event, like, for example, like you see here on the left, my mom called. And we use the past continuous with a past simple action, single past event that already happened. Okay, and that past single event interrupts the past continuous action that was in progress. So I know it sounds very strange, but we use the past simple action with the past continuous always because we're letting you know one past action happened that interrupted a past action that was in progress that's in an ING form. So for example, we're waiting, was eating, okay? So it's always with the verb to be, was or were, and then it's followed by a verb in the ing form. So for example, I was eating pizza when my mom called. So I was eating pizza is that past action that was going on in progress. And then the simple past action interrupts it. So I was eating pizza for a long time, right? The past action in progress when my mom called. So the past simple action interrupts the past continuous action. So another example, which is used a lot, especially with waiting for something. I was waiting for the bus when he fell and hurt himself. Okay, so the longer action, longer past action was waiting for the bus. And then the past simple action that interrupts that is when he fell and hurt himself. So just think the past simple action always interrupts the continuous action that happens the, for the longer period. Okay, so next example, I was taking a shower, right? That usually takes about 20 minutes when the doorbell rang. So that past simple action is very quick and completed. So we do use this grammar tense a lot when we're telling stories, especially to our friends or family, explaining something that happened. So it's not used all the time in English, but it is a still it is still a very important grammar rule, in my opinion, especially when you're telling a story. So it's really just that it's not really a complicated grammar rule. But I think what confuses students, especially students that are studying for an English exam, such as Cambridge, TOEFL or or IELTS. What's confusing is where to put the past simple with the past continuous. So just remember the action that's happening for a longer period, just use was or were plus verb in the ING form. And that other action that's pretty quick, that's always in the past simple. And then if you notice, there's a word when. So 
In my example, I put the past continuous first because I think it's easier to use it that way. And then you include the word when and then include the past simple action that interrupted that that uh, action in progress, right? When my mom called, when he fell and hurt himself, when the doorbell rang. So what I was thinking that would be uh, a good homework assignment for you is to create 10 sentences talking about a story, something that happened to you in the past and try to think of um, a long story where uh, that you were doing certain actions for a long period of time, was waiting, was eating, for example, and share your example sentences in the comments below. I definitely read them and proofread them whenever I can. And it's good too, because other students can learn from you. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I'll see you on the next one.